Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Q Timex. Q Timex? Timex Q? So obviously it should have been called the Timex Q. Why did they call it the Q Timex? Who knows? Anyway, let's get into the video. Hi guys and welcome to Rich Reviews. So the original version of the Q Timex was released towards the end of the Quartz Crisis in 1979. The reissue was released last year in 2019. I purchased the version of the reissue and today I'm going to talk to you about how to set the day, date and time on the new version of the Q Timex. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the issues that I had with the initial version that was delivered to me. Okay guys, so to set the day and date on the Q Timex, you have to go through quite an elaborate process. The crown has a two stage. The second stage hacks the second's hand and the first stage of the crown provides capability for a quick set on the date, but not a quick set on the day. There is not a quick set on the day. So to set the day, you have to pull the crown out to the second stage and you have to move the hour's hand past the, the 12 o'clock position, obviously, till it gets past midnight, so you can set the day. So we'll do that first of all. So today is Sunday, the 1st of March, so it's saying Saturday at the moment. So I'll pull the crown out to the second stage. As you can see, it hacks the seconds hand there. Then we spin the hours forward until we get to the desired day. Here we just have to move it one stage forward and we're going past midnight here. As you see, it moves first of all to another language and then it will skip forwards to the English language version of Sunday, as we see, can see there. Now, if we say that we're aiming for 6 p.m., so I'll move the 24 hour hand rather the hour hand forward past midday until 6 p.m. We push the crown in and you can see the second hand starts moving again. Now to set the date, we pull the crown out to the first stage to the quick set for the date. And then we can move the date forward, spin the date forward very quickly until we get to the desired date. And here we're looking for the first. There we go. Now to set the time accurately, we would pull the crown out to the second stage to hack the second's hand. But you'd obviously wait until the second's hand was completely at 12 o'clock, had stopped exactly at 12 o'clock, so you could set the time very, very accurately. So let's just wait until the second's hand hits the 12, and then we'll pull the crown out to the second stage to hack the second's hand. There we go. Let me move the minutes hand to the 12. Then we push the crown in both stages. Now, as you can see there, the minute hand moves slightly forward when I push the crown in. This is a problem that seems to exist with the Q Timex and it existed with my first iteration of the Q Timex. This is my second iteration. It doesn't happen all the time with this version. It just happens every now and again and it makes it nigh impossible to set the time very accurately. Now, this isn't a luxury watch. It's, it's really a fun watch. It's a nice fun watch, but those with OCD may have a problem with this watch and therefore I'd recommend anybody with OCD, they don't buy a Q Timex. I'll just show you that situation again. I'll pull, I won't bother too much about the seconds hand, pull the crown out to the second stage. I'll move the minutes hand to 12 o'clock and watch the minutes hand when I push the crown in. This time it didn't jump. I'll try again, just one more time to show you as an example. Move it back to the minutes, to the 12 o'clock stage, and then push the crown in. You can see there it jumped about half a minute forward. So hopefully you found that video informative. And if you like the video, well, smash that like button. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll receive notifications of all future incoming videos. Take care guys, look after yourselves. Peace. Say hi Cassie. See you guys, take care.